Miriam from Art Curious by MNW asked me if I would like to participate in her Midsummer Streamathon. I do not stream and it's not because I don't want to. It's because I live rural and my internet just won't allow it. So I am participating with 30 minute videos and I have agreed to do six. Here are the details of her streamathon. Today, Monday, is collage, posters, zentangling, mandala, zines, and a draw or sketch along. Tomorrow, or August 13th, Tuesday, is paper making, paper dolls. Wednesday, drawing, cartoon, comics, postcard sketches. Thursday, fabric. Friday, a woodcraft. And Saturday, mix everything above and see what you can come up with. Now, this has been a lot of fun. I agreed to do one each day. I may have overextended myself a bit, but I do have six videos prepared for you. So give me just a moment and I'll tell you who I am. My name is Peg and I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I'd like to experiment and explore and learn. I am new to mixed media. I've only been doing it a few years. So what you will see on my channel is my explorations and learning the mixed media genre. The first thing that I want to do is create a zine. And the zine that I have created is coming from an actual magazine page. And that magazine is about nine and a half inches in width and 12 inches in height, the pages. I have chosen pages deliberately by color and contrast and simplicity more than anything. So these are the pages that I'm going to be working with. The first thing I want to do is grab some tissue paper and cut that to the approximate size of my magazine page. And the tissue paper I will crumble into a little ball because what I'm trying to do here is just simply push that magazine page back um, and kind of diffuse some of the print that's on that magazine page. I'm also wanting to create a little bit of texture. I am utilizing a mixture of Elmer's glue or school glue and water. And what I want to do is put that tissue paper right on top of my magazine page. And I had a little bit of black ink on my brush from my dirty water in my, in my brush cup. So I cleaned that off a bit and, and we'll get started. Now I'm going to glue about one fourth of this page because I don't want my glue to dry before I get that tissue paper down. And we'll lay that tissue paper into place and gently pat it to kind of keep that texture and make sure that it is adhered to the magazine page. And now I'll glue the rest of that page and we'll get the rest of that tissue paper laid down. And there we go. I am going to do that to the rest of the magazine pages. And I will allow those to dry naturally. And then we'll get to work with them once again. So I'm checking first before I put this aside to make sure all my edges are sec secure. Once dry, I am cutting around the outside edge of the magazine page. Now, it's probably easier to turn it over and have the magazine page on top and cut along the edge. I could clearly see this magazine page, so I kept the tissue paper side up. Once I have that all trimmed up, I have pulled a tattered rose for this particular just black and white print, and I'm trying to lift some of that texture. I have come back with a deeper pink. It's a fuchsia ink and we'll go back over everything with the fuchsia. So we have the tattered rose and the fuchsia. So you have some kind of highlights and shading with the two different color ink. 
Now that we have that complete, I'm going to fold in half lengthwise and use my bone folder to just secure that fold. Now that that's done, I will turn, turn that and fold it from a portrait position, if you will, or a vertical. And I'll fold that in half and then I will fold it up a second time on each side. And there becomes the start of our scene. So you should have that little Z type shape. And now I'm going to mark where we want to cut to create the zine. So along that line in the center between panel two and or between panel one and four, panel two and three, I just marked, I'm going to use my X-Acto and cut right down the center there. My blade's getting a little dull, so. So there we have that cut and now you just pinch it from the side and match up the two ends and now you have your zine with the magazine page not showing at all and the only thing you will see is the tissue paper and the um, texture that we've created with that tissue paper. I just want to trim up. You know, when you pull those magazine pages out of the magazine, you don't always get that super straight edge. So I'm just trimming anywhere that it needs it. And now I have some glitter glue. I'm going along the edges and just gluing it into place. And I'm taking each panel one at a time, trimming where I may need to trim, and then opening that up and placing that glue inside to make sure that that magazine image that was on the reverse side of the tissue paper is not going to show. You know, and I did these, I did all four of these, um, but I also did some previously and I painted the tissue paper and while they look great, there's still a little, what I would refer to as sticky. So I kind of like it uh, just inked. It pushes that magazine image to the back. You don't have that stickiness and it open and closes very freely. So I'm kind of, I kind of like this. So there you have the first little scene. And here are all of the zines that I made with the paper once it finished. One, I used a China blue to ink. Um, this, I used a black ink. And it looks like I've got a little spot that needs a little bit more. And this is a mustard seed ink on top of this one. So there are the four. I am going to decorate one of these zines with Zintangles, which was another prompt in today's prompts. And I hope you will stick around for me to do that. But while we're waiting to get started with the Zintangle, let me tell you a little bit more about me. If you like the content that I am providing, please give me a thumbs up and of course come over and subscribe to my channel. If you would like to support me, there is a spot in the description to buy me a cup of coffee which goes towards the supplies that I use in producing the videos that I put out on a weekly basis. And I would be very grateful for that. So let's get started in decorating the zine. 
We have completed our zine for the Midsummer Streamathon zine, but they also requested that we do a zintangle, or a zintangle was another prompt. I've never zintangled. So I purchased this book. I also purchased a couple of others, but this is the one that I wound up using. It's called The Great Zintangle Book, um, and it's by uh, Betty Winkler or Bet Winkler. I'm not sure how she pronounces her name, but she has some amazing things in here. I'll put a link to this book in my description. And the first thing I looked at was what materials do I need? And I have everything that I need. The micro pens, a pencil, a soft leaded pencil, a paper stump, and of course they recommend the artist tiles. I have just cut some watercolor paper and I've been practicing here, you can see. Um, but just into the little squares. Now I'm getting ready to do a zentangle on the front page of my zine, and I do it with one um, really zentangle, and then I just kind of illustrate. But I wanted to show you the zentangle that I used. It's called the Kiko. And the way that this Kiko works, and I'll show you real quickly how to do this pattern right here. Um, it looks woven here. That's a little higher in variation than I know how to do yet, but we'll get done what we can. And I am going to quickly illustrate how that is done. According to this book, to do a true zentangle, you put your four points and then draw your quick lines among those four points. Just very loose, very freeform. What is next done is called a string. And I'm just going to put my string right through here. And I want to be kind of liberal with the size in this bottom because I want to show you how to do that first zentangle. Now I am choosing a 01 micro, and this Kiko is just a series of four little lines. I couldn't believe how simple it was. So you start one, two, three, four, and then take them. I'm doing it pretty big this time. And I'm gonna go all the way across here just to show you and illustrate this pattern because when I do it in my video, I do it full uh, or um, time lapse. And then you connect it with four lines. Like so. So there's the first row of that design. To get it to look more like that picture or that illustration, you come back and where you've gone horizontal, you go vertical. Four, 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 and then you can see we've skipped that one. So now I'm going to connect the bottom of that one and come across four. So I think this is a very simple zentangle pattern. Put my line in up here. And again, we're going horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical with four lines. So we'll start down here with the vertical. Vertical. Looks like that may need another row of vertical. And then one, two, three, four. See how you're starting to get that ribbon effect, that interwoven wet ribbon? So I think this is a cool design. It's very easy to do. And I wanted to show you that because 
I'm going to decorate the front of my zine with a zin tangle and just some illustration. So time lapse up next. Before we start that time lapse, I finished this out and I wanted to show you how I kind of shaded it. So I, I just took my uh, soft lead pencil and kind of shaded in between these little marks. Just real easy, nothing. But I think the shading does add a little bit. So I want to get a little bit of depth where it looks like that might go under. And then you take this little stump and just kind of even that out. And I think the shading adds quite a bit to it. So now I can go back and zentangle in this section and this section, and I have a little zentangle tile completed. So I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the actual fast forward or the, um, what do they call that version when you speed that up, the time lapse, the time lapse here in just a second. And now that I have that completed, I've glued it onto the front of my zine. And all of these have been cut to allow me to go back and do a zentangle for each page. So I would like to get that done here in the near future and, and maybe even be able to show it to you soon. If you have popped over to my Facebook group, you'll, you'll see me post that picture over there. But to finish off the front, I have pulled out some liquid pearls in a pink and I'm just placing those in each corner of this and I'll allow that to dry. And once again, I'll show you uh, the close-up photo of the Zentangle and I hope you have enjoyed. I hope you enjoy this midsummer streamathon. I know that Miriam has gone to a tremendous amount of work to put this together for everyone. So I hope you truly enjoy it and I thank you for spending uh, 30 minutes, about 30 minutes with me. Before I leave, I hope you've picked up all kinds of tips and all kinds of cool projects from the other participants in this streamathon. And I hope to see you tomorrow when we are back at this once again. Bye for now.